Chris is with us. Chris is in Columbus, Ohio. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Uh, hello, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Uh, well, I just finished the Total Money Makeover book about a week ago, and I'm really getting on track to try to get rid of the only debt I have in my life right now is a car that I can sell. Good. And I'm working extra hours, and basically I reached a point where I was sick and tired, and I want to be a millionaire. I want to retire a millionaire. Mm-hmm. And all the people around me um, at work and some people at church and whatever are saying that not only is it kind of like an immoral goal, like this idea that having a million dollars is kind of like evil and not a good spiritual play, Mm -hmm. but um, also a lot of people saying that, well, with more money comes more problems and more headaches. Mm -hmm. And I guess since you're the only millionaire that I know, I wanted to ask you directly, does, does more money actually make more stress and problems because mm-hmm. from where I'm at, I'm saying it would be great to not worry about money again. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, money makes you, the more money you get, it makes you more of what you already are. Okay. If you're depressed and you get money, you will become deeply depressed. If your family is dysfunctional and you get money, they get crazier than a bean. If you are an angry person and you get money, then you become a tyrant. If you are a kind person that loves God and believes that you're managing the money for God, that you're what we Christians call a steward, then you become a very generous person and a person who's very concerned about their family legacy. All of those things are biblical. Mm -hmm. And if your church is teaching you that the only way to be spiritual is to be poor, your church is teaching heresy. Right. That money is evil. There is nowhere in Scripture that says money is evil. It doesn't say money is good. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. Right. And when right. you say that that material things uh, take on a spiritual component and money being a material thing, that is a form of heresy known as Gnosticism. And, uh, well, rich people can't get into heaven. Oh, Really? Uh, but murderers and prostitutes and drug dealers can if they accept Jesus. But rich people right. can't. See, now you're, now you're discounting the power of the cross, and that's called heresy. And so th- this is a very shallow, backward, toxic form of Christianity that's not even real Christianity. Uh, and, and, but it comes from the, the type of people that are in that particular congregation or denomination that causes that. And that's not a prosperity gospel. It's just reading the word of God and understanding what it says. So, right. um, uh, so no, you're not unspiritual. Now, if you think you own money or you get uppity, because, as we say in the country, just because you've gotten some money, now that's unspiritual. And there's all kinds of warnings in scripture, scripture about the dangers of wealth. But the trick spiritually is to say I don't and to believe and act on the fact that I don't own the money. I am managing it for God. And God tells us to do three primary things with money when he gives it to us to manage. The first thing is we take care of our own household or we're worse than an unbeliever. Have you ever heard that one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The second thing is we change our family tree. And Proverbs says, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. It doesn't say it's evil to have an inheritance. It says a good man, not an evil man, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. David did not build the temple. Solomon built the temple. You know whose money Solomon used? David's. It was inherited money. So David is evil, a man after God's own heart? That's absolutely ludicrous and horrible doctrine. Mm. Not not reading the Word of God. I mean, it's just, don't let the world teach you theology. It's a bad idea. And and so, but as far as problems, you're always going to have problems. Uh, I got problems. My car breaks down, but it doesn't break down as much as when I was driving a junkie one. And when it does break down, I pick up the phone, call somebody to fix it. I used to lean under the hood with a wrench. I don't have to bust my knuckles doing that anymore because I got some money to pay a guy to do that. So it doesn't solve all my problems, but it sure does. You know, if I get a headache, I can afford the Tylenol. You know, that's the difference. 
So, no, it doesn't make everything perfect. It makes you more of what you are, and it's not unspiritual. I cover this in the book, The Legacy Journey. I'll send you a copy as my gift.